Okay. Welcome back to some more Singularity. Let us resume. Uh, leave me a comment on, you know, how you found found us, found me, whatever. Uh, tell me, you know, are you enjoying the series so far? You know, let me know if, uh, if this, if, you know, it made, it helped you in any way in, to purchase the game. If you enjoyed it so much that, you know, watching that you wanted to buy it. It's an invoice. Sniper cartridges. I wonder what that is, that wrapped up box. That's obviously supplies of some sort, but... Hello? Can't get me now, can ya? Freaking schmucks. I can't believe I could have just... slid that box under there and... Hi. Yeah, yeah, what you gonna do, huh? Oh my goodness gracious. Go, 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 go. I'm betting I'm gonna have to fight him at one point in time. Go away. That elevator looks like it's about to fall apart. Oh my lord. Oh no, don't tell me. Do I really have to fight him now? You need to calm down. Do some breathing exercises. Okay, we got another. Okay, now I actually have to start restoring the tape players. This is the one you drew in home of Dr. Vasily Korkin. He visited me again late last night. Subject Alpha from the teleportation experiment. That's the fourth time in the last two weeks. He materialized out of nowhere. He seems to be more corporal with every appearance. I must admit, he frightens me. A little. There is such malice in his eyes. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. Dr. Vasily Korkin. He visited me again late last night. Subject Alpha okay. I don't understand why after that flashback the walls aged. By now you should see the courtyard you'll need to pass through. Balls. Hello. You can pick up glass bottles. That's interesting. Hello? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Nobody's here. Does this... That's not the typewriter. That's a bell. You need to get that fixed. No. Colonel Ivanov, Weapons Division, from Dr. Gluchkov. Colonel Ivanov, please understand that I hold Dr. Korkin, wow, that's an interesting uh, name, in the highest regards, but as of late, his behavior has become erratic. He mumbles to himself, he is extremely irritable, and he is nervous to the point of being paranoid. I believe he's suffering a nervous breakdown. Could you meet with Dr. Korkin? Perhaps you could convince him to take some time off or seek professional help. Thank you. 
Dr. Anya Glushkov. Well then. That does not sound good in the least. And I believe I have enough for another upgrade, so I am going to mm, pop in an upgrade. Do I have enough for this? No, I do not. You need an actual, you need a tech point to do it. And I don't, there isn't an all vendor nearby, so, hey! Ow! I'm glad that didn't hit me. Did he just laugh? That must be one of those rare mutations. Like one of those, always one of those people out of a, some kind of incident that survived with like amazing powers. More glass bottles. Hmm, hello. I already have my max. What is this? That's a it's a a cardboard box. Why would I pick that up? Ranko. Let's see. Get closer. Who is this man? Where did he come from? Future? America? Technology in suit to advance. Wait, what? Oh, they must be this must be referring back to way, way back when the experiment occurred. And this is obviously a schematic of some kind. This is, I think, pretty sure this is a meter. And these all look like inductor uh, symbols. I'm guessing this is a resistor. These are resistors. Uh, it's a capacitor. There's like nothing but inductors and resistors and capacitors on here. So my guess is it's like a transformer. Okay. That's interesting. Ooh, what is this guy? He started it all. I'm assuming they're referring to me or the character Ranko. February 28, 1953. I wish Dr. Demichev would let me go home. I am not feeling well today. Where's my bucket? Oh my lord. That's gotta be messy and disease ridden. I would hope that they would wash that out after they're finished with it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Does that say administration and records? Huh. I didn't think they would say it in English. Would you stop with the uh, whatever these plants are? Don't 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 break the wall, please. I really need to walk in here. Oh fuck! He broke it. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna shoot that. And that is not where his heart is either. Hey. Thanks. Er, my, my chest where my heart is not. Hello? Oh, uh, this is the device that Barisov crafted for the, not crafted, but built for, to hold the TMD. So that was a... Uh... Oh, okay, so those those little things that... Uh... Words are failing me. The devices, they're called field emitters. And they were emitting a magnetic field. But, of course, that wouldn't actually show in reality. Because that kind of stuff is invisible to the, uh, to the eye. I mean, unless you had some kind of visor that you put on that could actually show the magnetic field. Look at this. What is all this crap? This is, uh, these are possibilities that they're considering. Good grief. 
Dude, would you hush up? Good grief. Alright, what is this? The records room. Should be coming up on a flashback any time now. I haven't seen one for a while. Oh, hell. Those stim packs look... Where's the needle at? Oh, no, that's right, they don't. They have a, um... A type of injector that doesn't have a needle. It le just leaves a, a really nasty, mar really deep mark in your in your skin. To all personnel, we are missing some back issues of Propaganda Illustrated. If you remove materials from the records room, return them when you are done. Do not leave them in the restroom. Propaganda officer, you go. Right. Okay. In the bathroom. Well, yeah, reading material. Let's, uh, pull out what does it say? Mirror 12 is wrong. Wrong about what? The propaganda you called. I understand that Dr. Barisov has been spending much time down there. What has he been researching? Keep an eye on him and report any suspicious behavior, Dr. Demichev. Yeah, he knows something's up. Hello? Uh, uh, no, no, no! Oh well. What's this one about? My teleportation experiments have progressed as planned. The first step was accomplished, and I have determined how to alter an item so that it is out of phase without time. Unfortunately, locating the item once it was shifted became a major problem, but I created the chronolite to address that difficulty. In this test, an object is shifted into an alternate dimension, rendering it invisible. Now, with the aid of the chronolite, the object can be seen. It can also pull phased items back into a time. The Chronolite is a huge step forward. Once it has been miniaturized, it will be an incredible benefit to my teleportation research. Praise the deeds of Greg Lennon and Star. The what? The, the I didn't I didn't get that. Okay. Guess we'll go this way. There's no other way to go. Gentlemen, and I missed. Uh, but I have to pick that up. Oh, Lord! Ow! You nasty little. Goodbye. My shotgun go. You drop. Did you just did it fall through the level? Uh, I, 
Are we done now? My freaking shotgun. Blah! My, sh my shotgun back. Plenty of ammo. There we go. Alright. Where to go? Where to go? This is here because I need to swap back to my shotgun. Sniper rifle's nice, but I mean it's only useful in certain parts. What's this note say? Colonel Ivanov, weapons division from Sergeant Chertok. Chertok. Base security. Colonel Ivanov, I regret to inform you that Dr. Korkin, the head of your teleportation research team, was found murdered in his apartment late last night. What has me confused is how his assailant was able to enter the room. All the doors and windows were boarded up and nailed shut from the inside. We had to break down the door to get in. I will keep you informed when any new information is uncovered. That's interesting. Okay. So that's that. Uh, yeah. Wait. Sir? Ah. Should have left that in here. My fault. Alright, come on. What does this say? Follow. Look, we got Barisol. All that. What does it say? Barisov's crossed out. So, follow nobody. Don't trust Barisov. What the heck, man? Radio, how am I supposed to... Oh, thank you very much. Uh, I wonder if I should bring that... With Can I bring that... Bo -bo 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 -bo! Bring it up and over. Don't let it fall. Wink. Hello, gentlemen. Oh, oh. I'm not used to using the R key. Okay, this is. Hello. here. So, he's pissed off because they
on. Let's go, Chuckles. Pretty sure that's a parasite. I didn't affect her because she's invincible. That's so funny. Oh my lord. Buzz off. Come on, this way. Yes, ma'am. Get that ammo. Goodbye. Ow! B! Get off me, you schmuck. There's a keypad, girl. Get with it. Oh, she's this limping already. Jeez, oh, please. Place an order. It's on the way. Alright, so all I gotta do is keep these guys stuck. The power is out. Rekha, we have to hold them off until Barisol gets the power restored. Excuse me? The generators are gearing up. Renko, use the TMD to renew the power junctions on the fence. That should buy us some time. So all I gotta do is sit here and keep doing this. such a short duration when I when I was able to use the TMD before it didn't it didn't age back to its original state Let's 
fact that the game has a preset time limit on how many on how long this is supposed to last for before I can proceed through the game. Should almost be there. Find me. Come on, Renko. Let's get to the tower. This way, Renko. Oh, Ma'am. Oh. That was a nice bit of work down there, Renko. the day. Remarkable. You've undoubtedly figured out the timeline has been altered. Russia rules the world, and Demichev is the Chancellor. Here, let me show you what happened to the world after you saved Demichev from the burning building. From the moment I invented the TMD, Demichev wanted it. He demanded I hand it over for him to use in his research. When I refused, he had me and everyone else who wouldn't cooperate labeled as traitors. If it weren't for you, I would have been killed along with everyone else. Demichev was obsessed with the power and possibilities of the singularity. But a few months after it came online, there was a terrible accident. The singularity exploded, killing thousands instantly. But they were the lucky ones. Those who survived were left to a fate worse than death. The E-99 radiation mutated every living thing on the island, including humans. The island was quarantined and abandoned, but not before E-99 had been effectively mass-produced and implemented in everything from microwaves and vehicles to weapons more powerful than America's atomic bomb. Hmm heels of the success, Demichev was able to quickly rise through the party ranks, preaching all the while that Russia had a technological advantage it must use quickly and ruthlessly. And Premier Khrushchev agreed. Russia launched a preemptive strike against the United States, devastating its entire East Coast with a single E-99 bomb. Simultaneous wow. attacks were also launched across Europe. Germany, France, Great Britain, None could stand against the E-99 weapons of the USSR's troops. Within six months, the entire world was under Khrushchev's control. But not for long. Demichev used his growing number of supporters to oust Khrushchev and install himself as Chancellor for life. Wow. So you see, the timeline... Bro, what happened to your freaking voice? If you destroy the singularity in the past, history will correct itself. Where did he go? Dude! Okay, I must be having a... Uh, a technical difficulty here. I didn't have this last time. Okay, Beresol's personal journal entry two. Now I'm here on the tower with my rations fading away every so often alone. Phase tick. Looking for nest sites. You must cook them in boiling water and a small dash of my homemade anti-radiate. Wow, anti-radiation. Which consists of garlic, oregano, and an herb only grown here on Katorga, which subsides radiation. Taste is not bad either. Okay, so then that must mean that there must must have been a uh, some kind of 
plant that grew that developed some kind of immunity. I don't understand why he disappeared. Here's the old Do I have enough to two thousand? Like that. Okay, let's see. I've got just enough to increase that and leave it at that. Oh wow, a telescope. Check that out. My god, that's massive. Lock my tower after the incident. The people were massing at the lower level elevator, and I look saw so their faces were not that of friends. No, because you were part of the people who caused it. You think somebody's gonna want to be your friend after that? Entry six. I wonder about the origins of the man from the future. How could it even be possible? When will he return? I must do what I can to ensure he's ready when he does arrive. I'm off to my old research. Ooh, what's in here? More tech, thank you. I don't know who this guy is. Tim. I can't. It's so difficult to see that. Gregor. Gregorovich. Who is this guy? Whatever. They won't tell me, so I mean, he could be a made up character for all I know. What are you staring at? Okay, I guess I go back into the elevator. Actually, I'm gonna cut it off here <clears throat> for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I am definitely looking forward to the next part. I don't know about you. So take care and I'll see you next time.